Our two council members have failed to see eye to eye since the August elections. Now, their differences have reached boiling point. As we were on our way there, there were issues of security concerns that we, and then we were advised uh, by the security uh, uh, institutions uh, to actually not proceed with the meeting, you know, uh, because, uh, you know, there were serious uh, issues of concern related to security. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, as a department, we had to hit that. Tuesday's meeting was the sixth failed attempt to secure a council sitting. First, there was a controversial election of municipal leaders, which was deemed illegal. Then came two separate court cases over which councillors should represent the EFF and NFP. The department says tensions between political parties continue to simmer. In August, the DA's councillor there claimed he had to go into hiding after allegedly receiving death threats. We are going to be making sure that uh, indeed uh, when the time is right, uh, when we are given a, a, a green light to proceed, uh, we are ready to proceed. As we have said, that we always remain ready to proceed. But of course, we can't ignore uh, advice on, on security by competent institutions. Issues beyond our control uh, you know, are, 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 are impeding us to, from proceeding with this process. Uh, but of course, the intervention by the provincial government is making sure that uh, the, 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 the municipalities wheels of service delivery do not grind to a halt and that we are able to continue to deliver services, which is very, very important. A chief executive officer from the department was deployed to Mbutu in October to ensure the day-to-day -day running of the municipality continues. There was also an outcry from the community and uh, we had to do this intervention so that uh, we can continue to drive service delivery uh, while the political parties were sorting out their own uh, political matters. Government says it will continue to assess the situation in Mbutu before attempting to reconvene the council. Judith Subban, Durban.